Ten hot marines, we've got some new recruits and we've got to show them the ropes. <laughs> Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to the domain. We have got, ah, one of my all-time favorite packs to open today. And I've opened uh, three or four of these in my time. Look at it. Look at it. I, 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 should I say any more? Is that the end of the video? This set is a 10 out of 10 for both figures, accessories, everything. The end. Thanks for tuning in. Alright guys, let's let's break this thing open. This is the UNSC Marine Defense. If you guys know, I am a big sucker for Halo 3 Marines. I also love my buggers, my drones, and this set it's just amazing. It's one of the only sets that I would actually recommend keeping in packaging if you've got a lot of them because this thing is flawless in terms of presentation. And I've said before, you know, I don't like saving sets because, you know, usually you can't even see the figures inside. It's just a box. So you may as well just empty the box and keep the box. But this one, yeah, you pretty much can see everything that you get in the set aside from a little display right here on the packaging. So it is worth keeping sealed and just celebrating the 10th anniversary of Mega Constructs, in my opinion. But here at the Domain, these pieces are too valuable. We're about to build a Halo 3 Crow's Nest diorama. The live stream will come out before this video actually does. Yeah, we, we, we gotta get these figures, guys. These Marines are needed at base camp. They've gotta defend, I don't know, Lord Hood and whoever else is there. They gotta do their duty. Do their duty to the king and country. To the whole world, because the, the Covenant's invaded Earth and uh, it's not looking very good. Anyway, I'm rambling. We get two UNSC Marines, two drones, this little barricade, which is always a great feature, you know, and then some muzzle flares. One of the first time we ever get muzzle flares. I think this was the first year of muzzle fra flare, muzzle flare production and a gold trip mine. If you guys didn't know, every 10th anniversary set comes with a gold weapon or accessory. Cool little feature. Not totally necessary, but still. Oh, and I forgot to show you uh, the, this be the best bit. <laughs> the Warthog run is on the back. The Chief with the Golden Flamethrower and the two Hunters, the Warthog and the Arbiter. If you've not got that set, oh, that's, that's, that's a gem. That's a gem. All right, let's clear the way for these new characters. Right. We got a pretty simple bag. This is already torn open. Did I tear this open for something back in the day? I don't know what I would have got in there for. Oh, the Muzzle Flare. Yeah, I think when I first got this, because this set was sent to me like literally a year ago now, I got two of them. I guess I opened this one for the muzzle flare because it's pre-built and then I probably put it back in the packaging when I moved to Asia. Right, let's break open these Marines. They're the easiest part of this build because uh, there's no building necessary. I say that the uh, shoulder just flipped off from one of them. So I guess we've got to build that back. These Marines, man, like what can I say about them? First of all, really dope that we have two skin tones. Didn't need to do it, but much appreciated. Then this metallic green is so legendary. These are some of the figures that do suffer from Mega Constructs. Uh, when they make the heads, or at least when they used to make the heads, it would be a soft plastic versus this hard plastic for the armor. So it would come out as a slightly different color. You can see those helmets are definitely different colors. But yeah, different skin tones is great. The gold goggles are awesome. And then I love this like khaki undersuit on the second half of the limbs. And we've got the metallic green to finish off the legs and the black to finish off the undersuit that runs into the chest. We've got a nice ammunition belt and the whole thing is just like flawlessly executed. The printed detailing on these is awesome. The metallic green still has some little wavy effects. So none of them are the same. Little scratch marks. And then the khaki has all these like black dots, little prints running all the way through them. These are highly detailed. I, I absolutely love these figures. In terms of weapons, we got two plasma pistols for those buggers and then an assault rifle and SMG, both new remolded so they fit the muzzle flare on and this is the genius of the mega constructs muzzle flare it comes in two pieces right you can attach this together as a full muzzle flare or you can detach them and have it on two separate guns so it's double the value I always like to put these long ones as sort of like long bursts on snipers assault rifles battle rifles these ones I like to attach as like uncontrollable bursts they work well with SMGs and shotguns then we've got our drones uh, they, uh, yeah, I guess they fall out the package and the wings you have to take out of the back. An interesting design. And yeah, they're pretty, pretty naked. <laughs> There's gotta be a meme made out of that. There's gotta be a meme. I gotta, I gotta make that into a meme. 100%. That's too funny. Naked drone? Drone? Na a, a nudist drone on the loose? Let's see. 
Yeah, the armor, yeah, clips on in all different directions. It's pretty impressive that each drone comes with six separate pieces of armor. That's pretty badass, if you ask me. So, we'll clip one on here. Gotta make sure they're facing the right direction, or the YouTube comments will rip me apart. <laughs> that joke never gets old. You guys are savage when it comes to this. Straight after filming this, actually, like right after, I'm gonna be making a diorama, a sort of sewer system, crow's nest, and it's gonna be legendary. I'm so excited. It's one that I've wanted to build for a while. I actually got the uh, the drain pipes for this diorama uh, months and months and months ago. Just been finding the right time to do it. And the time is nigh, folks. Get those beautiful wings on. Like, honestly, Mega Constructs, when you made this new articulation drone, my god, you went to some level of detail. I mean, look at all these pieces. It's crazy. The drones are awesome, and they come with these. These are gold dust. You stick it up the bomb. No easy way of saying that, folks. <laughs> That's exactly what you do. And I also really hope you enjoyed my latest vlog. It was uh, spoken really from the heart, something that I've wanted to make for a long time, and the support has already been like overwhelming on it. I'm so I'm so in love with you guys Like you've really got my back 100% when I go to America start travel blocks USA and uh, just do some outrageous stuff there Another rod there gotta get the wings on the last piece these drones man. Ah, oh, they're so cool I know this set is still available. Uh, I think it might still be on Amazon. It's definitely in some places It was very well distributed this set. I mean, thank God. It's just so so epic. Let's build this little barricade and then I gotta get off and do a live stream. Right, super easy build, but I'm, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just excited to like have this. These sandbags are obviously great fodder for your battlefields. I'll be probably immediately taking this apart. I might use this exact barricade in the diorama to be fair. But there we go, just lay it on so nicely, so, so simply. And then we're just building this uh, little missile pod. It's been a while since I've built one of these missile pods actually. They've been missing from sets recently, but I guess missile pod is not confirmed for infinite yet. So who knows? The missile pod was always a funny one. Uh, I thought it was just like a bit of a cheat kill in a lot of games, you know? There we go. We got our drone floating there and another one floating there. Absolutely beautiful. We'll give the SMG to this dude and the new articulation figures can really hold on to this SMG very nicely And then the assault rifle for this guy. This set doesn't come with backpacks for the Marines, but we, do, we don't need it That's okay. Assault rifle and SMG in hand. Whoa, they're ready to take the fight to the Covenant Let me tell you that. Covenant's gonna regret the day they invaded this base And this is my daily call to Mega Constructs to make muzzle flares for my Covenant figures. They never fight back Maybe they're the pacifists in this battle Maybe they don't actually want to fight, but they never shoot back. <laughs> They literally, they, they just take all the bullets. <laughs> all right, there we go, folks. This was a slightly shorter video because I'm heading straight into a live stream, which you can check that out right now. I'm gonna build an epic crow's nest diorama, but I really wanted to produce like a little video for you showing you the ins and outs of this set before it basically gets distributed into a diorama. So I hope you enjoyed this review and let me know in the comments down below, have you got this set? Would you like to get this set? Is this on your radar? I mean, come on. These drones, gorgeous. I love that blue wing effect too, much nicer than the white. And then these two Marines, different skin tones. They work as a beautiful pack. They are brothers in arms. The missile pod and the sandbags are just an added bonus and the gold trip mine, it's it's cute. You know, I, I would never notice that that was even gold on a diorama. It's just fun background fodder. So thank you very much for tuning in today, guys. I hope you enjoyed what you see. If you did, please do make sure to like this video, subscribe if you haven't already. Have a great day out there, you stay awesome, you stay safe folks, and the drones are buzzing off. Spartan? For real? You better not be. Oh man, he's here. We're gonna be Where all did right. you find him? Napping, out back. <laughs> I'll bet. It's good to see you, Chief. Likewise, ma'am. Let's get you up to speed.